We'll be getting started very shortly, folks. Welcome in, everybody. We'll be getting started very shortly. Welcome back, Bizzle. Welcome, welcome. Getting started in just a couple minutes. About two more minutes and we're gonna get started, guys. Stick around. Welcome in everybody, we're going to have a great night tonight, hope you all are excited to see a beautiful plate. Get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat ladies and gentlemen.
Good evening. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Cousin Juice Cooking Show, Season 2, Episode 9. Tonight we're doing some fusion pork loin. You know what I mean by fusion? It's a little bit of American-Asian fusion, the way we're going to do this dish tonight. What's going on, everybody? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. What's happening? What's happening? Let me pull chat up nice and large and in charge. What's happening, everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. Got a great show going on tonight. We're going to make a fantastic dish. Been thinking about it for a couple days now. Um, it's gonna be pretty, pretty cool looking. I think, think it's gonna be one of your guys' favorites yet, um, look-wise, presentation-wise. Um, so what we're gonna be doing tonight, guys, is we're gonna be doing a roasted pork loin. We're gonna take our pork loin. We're gonna tighten it up with some butcher twine after we season it. We're gonna roast that baby off after we mark it off. Get like a nice little golden brown deliciousness on the outside of it. Um, we're gonna throw that baby in the oven. We're gonna finish it off. We're gonna slice it into medallions for our plate up. We're going to be creating a uh, delicious, sweet, sour, and spicy sauce with habaneros, a little bit of pineapple, onion, shallot, a little bit of fresh herb. We're really going to bring the sauce to life. It's going to have great color. It's going to look amazing on the bottom of the plate. A dash. I think we're going to use a bowl, actually, a bigger, shallow bowl. Um, we're going to be doing some roasted carrots, not the rainbow, just the regular old yellow. Um, we're going to be doing some fingerling potatoes. i got three different colors for you guys. Uh, then we're going to also be frying off some shishito peppers, some Asian peppers, super delicious. We're going to be doing uh, tempura batter on them. Um, they're going to be absolutely delicious, nice and fluffy and light. I think they're going to complement this dish amazing. And what I mean by fusion, American fusion, we're basically going to be taking some Asian um, inspired flavors and ingredients and I'm going to Americanize it and cook this dish my way. Um, with the way I was, the w with the way I cook, I guess, in my take on it. So uh, I think it's going to be absolutely delicious. I'm super excited to get started with you guys. We do got to get this pork going. We got to get our sauce cracking. We got to roast the carrots off. We got potatoes to cook. Uh, we got we got some work ahead of us, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome in again, everybody. See y'all in chat. Pull up that recipe. Um, let's go ahead and get started, guys. So first and foremost. Let's do our pork, then we'll move to our carrots and potatoes. Um, then will those babies cook away, we'll get started on our sauce, and then we'll bring everything to life. So what's going on everybody? Uh, thank you for being here tonight. I know I said Wednesdays, I know the last couple of weeks been Thursdays. Um, juggling it around, but we're here, we're here. Let's get our pork started. So I got a nice delicious pork loin. Um, let's go ahead and we need to get a couple things. We need a pan. Uh, we need to season this up, we're going to grab our seasonings, we need to get a pot ready. I don't think this is going to be... Huh, that actually could work. We'll use that pan. Happy Thursday, everybody. Uh, Ryan, I don't even know who's playing tonight because I haven't had a second to even look. So, who, who's playing in the, the football game tonight, my man? I haven't had a second to look. Gonna gather some ingredients real quick, guys. Ah, thank goodness, goodness the cap didn't pop off right there. I am excited. I did get some new uh, under lighting for my cabinets over here, so I got a nice bright area to work with now. Definitely loving that up. Huh? We'll be needing that. All right, I think we're looking good there. Grab some uh, some foil. Bring out some sheet trays. Gonna be needing these tonight. Have you ever used an air fryer? No, that's one thing that I have not used, Nate. I see them all the time over at this place where they have kitchen appliances that I go quite often. Actually where I got your uh, your giveaway prize. Um, but I've never used one. Always been a little curious. Never really looked into it though. I mean I love me some deep fry so I don't know how I feel about air frying things. Curious to see like actually how um, how it comes out. You know what I mean? Caden keeps stealing your phone and running away? Well. Someone wants to see daddy. All right, so let's get our pork loin cracking. I do got some other news for you guys. Um, by next episode, we will have 
a new 1080 camera uh, mixed in. We're going to be throwing it down here on the cutting board for you guys. Uh, get a lot better quality that way. Um, when we're doing all our prep, when we're plating up, etc. My buddy has one. We were tempted drunkenly to make chicken, but the chicken was frozen solid. And he, yeah, that. Working with frozen chicken is never a good thing. <laughs> no way. Absolutely not. All right, I need to pull my trash out. Wash my hand off. We got our pork loin pulled out. So like I said, we're gonna season it and then we're gonna actually tie it up nice and tight. So when we cook the thing, it holds a nice round, uh, you know, a nice round shape to it. So when we cut our medallions, they look beautiful for presentation. Tonight we're going for, you know, presentation plus 10. Uh, flavor and everything's always, always, always on point. So you don't gotta worry about that. But we are gonna be going uh, for pr all, pretty much all presentation points tonight. You know what I mean? Plate's gonna look beautiful. Chiefs 20, Bronco 6, yikes. I bet Alyssa's loving that. All right, so we got our uh, loin here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a paper towel. It's got a little bit of pork juice on it. I'm gonna dry that off so our seasoning stick nicely. We're gonna go ahead and get give it a bit of a little rub here. So, let's go ahead and start with some salt. All right, we need a nice crust, get some seasoning. Pepper. Never have too much pepper. Astros, three, Yankees, one, yikes. Some granulated garlic. We're gonna also add some minced garlic on there. Some pap. A little cayenne for a little heat. Some chili powder for some deep chili flavor. You see the darkness of the spice. That's for a great rub. Ground mustard, as I've said in the past, one of the most underused spices in the cabinet on the shelf. Absolutely delicious, full of flavor. We're gonna hit it with that dry oregano. I'm going to go ahead and kind of press the seasoning into it, make sure it's coated up nicely. All right, we're going to flip it. We're basically going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to wash my hand. So what's everyone got going on tonight? What y'all eating tonight? Anyone cooking? We got takeout. What's going on? Still early on, waiting for some more heads to pop in. We'll get our topic session rolling once we got got some more peeps in the house. All right, washing the knife off, wash the hands, everything's sanitary. When you're working with pork, always want to make sure everything's sanitary and clean. Ordered some noodles and company. All right, what'd you get? You can do it after, babe. I gotta kinda get this going. I'm gonna leave that fat on there. We're gonna um, cook it down, crust it, kinda let that fat pour in. We're gonna put it fat side up in the oven, and we're gonna let that little bit of fat cap that's, that you can see there. Um, kind of release its juices and, and kind of cook itself in those in those fatty juices, right? A little granulated garlic. Minced, that a little bit extra. Back to the pap. We need to get some more cayenne, so we're getting low. Of course, we're gonna have that chili powder. See how much darker the the loin gets when you add that chili powder. Mustard. I'm gonna 
course the array. All right, we got some great color on our loin here. Looking great. Kind of pressing it in, got a beautiful rub. Nate Dio Dub coming in with the Twitch Prime 12 months, baby, let's go. Thanks, Nate. You know, I appreciate that, brother. Thank you very much for the resub. Let's go. Spicy peanut ramen with chicken. Peanut and chicken, delicious. I enjoy that in my Kung Fu. Or Kung Pao, Kung Fu, Kung Pao chicken. It sounds absolutely fire, Nate Dog. I am a fan, I am a fan. All right, let's twine this bit up. Where is my butcher twine? So what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna take butcher twine and we're gonna tighten this baby up. Make sure it's nice and uh, nice and round. What's up, babe? Huh? Tight bow bow. Alrighty, so we're gonna start our twine on one side here towards the top. We're going to make our initial knot. So you can see it's already perked up. So that's what we're looking for here. So I'm going to sneak that under. I'm going to come across tightly wind it, make sure about the same, skip over, tightly wind there as well, flip it, tie that knot, Nice and tight. Perfect. All right, so you can see we have it all bodied up now. Uh, Nate, I'm tying it to keep keep. Okay, so when you when you cook meat and the protein starts to coagulate, um, you'll notice like on a filet mignon. Like, remember when we did the? Were you you were here that night? I'm pretty positive you were because I think you only missed like one episode or something. Um, the night I did the filet mignon, do you remember when I tied that up in a tight circle so it kept that nice, thick, tall shape on the filet? Same, same thing here. I don't, when this meat cooks, it wants to kind of break out. Here, we're keeping it nice and tight, so when I cut my medallions, it's gonna kind of shrink in, and it's gonna look almost like, you know, more sausage shape. So when we cut medallions, we got nice, consistent round uh, slices. He's into S&M, exactly, exactly. Let's heat up our pan. We're gonna get a nice crust on that. We're gonna grab our uh, carrots. We're gonna heat up our carrots. So tonight for the carrots, I mean, we'll get more into it after we, we cook them. But I think I'm only gonna be using most of the tops. Maybe we'll use some body, but for what I have in mind, we'll be using the tops. some dirty ass carrots. That's what you get when you get organic. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wash these babies off. Gotta tie up the hog, exactly. He's getting in the bath right now. Thanks. All 
All right, so basically, I'm just kind of giving it a quick rinse, get all that dirt off. Got a paper towel on the cutting board. I'll switch over there in a sec, you guys can see. The vibrant orange is also gonna come out a lot when you rinse off all that dirt. It's gonna pop a lot more. Rye, what'd you and uh, Ma have for dinner tonight? You guys cook up anything crazy? How's living the Wall Street, Wolf of Wall Street life got any quality? <laughs> uh, that's laughs. Like Jonah Hill and uh, Bradley Cooper. Ribeye, yum, yum, yum. You guys have had a couple of ribeyes this week, haven't you? Alright, pan's hot. Let's add some Earl. Cool. All right, we're going skin side down to start rendering out that, that fat on our loin. So the whole bottom gets coated there. I'm going to wash the hand, let you guys keep it. Oh, Ryan DeCap, or Ryan DeCap. Oh, never mind, never mind. I got it, I got it. I was like, what? It's Leonardo. Oh, never mind. I get it, I get it. Oh, he's barbecuing it? Okay, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. All right, so our loin is going, ladies and gentlemen. Looking good. We're gonna let that baby crust up. We're gonna render out that fat. We got a medium high flame. I'm rolling back over here to the cutting board. We're gonna clean up our carrots the rest, the rest of the way. Take off these extra bottoms, kind of make it a tip. If they have any of these excess kind of hangies, I pull them off. Sometimes I'll reshape the carrot, so I'll give it a little plastic surgery. There we go. Shave off a little bit of that, that gross shit. carrots here. I'm going to now switch them around. We're going to trim the, I'm going to leave a little bit of that green on top. Green and black, I guess to say. Alrighty. Carrots ready to get roasted. Need a little bit more foil, switch over to that loin. Looks like we might have to add a little bit more oil in there. Let's give it a peek. Oh yeah, look at that crust we're getting already. Let's go. Flip it. Let that fat cook, kind of twist around and cook up the other side. I'm gonna add a little more oil. Alright, 
We got one more piece of foil. We're gonna be roasting the carrots whole, so they might take a minute. I'm gonna grab my extra virgin olive oil. And we're just gonna do a nice little roast. Carrots are just one of those vegetables that you kind of just want to let speak for themselves, in a sense. Salt, pep. Garlic powder. That's all they really need. Give them a little toss in that oil seasoning. I'm gonna pop those babies in. What I like to do is I like to par cook and then take them out and finish them at the end just so we have a better t sense of timing, I guess you wanna say. We'll start these. Let's check on our other side. Beautiful. Turn it again. Want to mark all sides. Look at that. Getting a beautiful crust on that. All those dark spices make that beautiful dark brown crusting on it, you know what I mean? Oh, that thing's gonna be killer, y'all. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Now we get our fingerlings. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna par cook these babies. GBD always, baby. Always a GBD. All right. So our potatoes. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I wasn't sure how I was gonna cut cut them. What? My body just naturally did it for me. That's how we're going to make it on our plate. So I got gold, red, and perp. Always got to have some of that perp. Always. I love the inside of a purple potato. Look at that color. Just wait till we got that new camera, guys. And you got that, that high def on the cutting board. It's gonna be lit. Ready. We do need to get them seasoned and thrown in, you know what I mean? Potatoes oxidized, so you always gotta be quick with your potatoes. on my knife, get that perp off. We're gonna flip that loin. Oh yeah, I mean you can't tell me that's not money right there, right? All right, I'm gonna angle it up, come on on the last side against this, and then I'm gonna move that to the middle of the flame so we can get that last side crusted. I want all sides and cylinders looking absolutely roasty toasty with that rub. 
Golden Brown Deliciousness, 360. All right, potatoes are chopped. We got like little mini wedges right here. Keep putting the foil away, pulling it back out, forgetting that, I'm a, that I need it. Right, right. All right, pepper. Duh. Pork's gonna be finished up in momentarily. A little chili powder. And some minced garlic. Okay. So we got our fingerlings. Looking good. All right, you know what, let's switch over. Check that last side out. Oh yeah. Perfect, so now we got a perfect 360 coating, right, on our pork loin. We're looking perfect. We're gonna pull that heat down. We're gonna toss this in the oven. Okay. You know, I can't fit all three of these things in there. What are we gonna do? Consolidate. Got an idea. I'm gonna stack my pans. So. So I'm gonna. Your next cooking investment should be a rotisserie. Yeah, like my pops has. Those things are badass. I really like them and all. Just the problem with rotisserie sometimes is they take long. And you gotta have it outside, so that means I gotta get, I mean, I am planning on getting an outside setup at some point, but it's gonna be a minute. All right, I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna stack pans for now since we're par cooking. And then I'm just gonna take it out, and we'll chug it, and we'll rotate. We can find uh, oven space. sauce to put together. We got tempura, a batter we got to put together. Um, we need to get a little thing of oil for our peppers. We're going to fry off. We got to do some trial runs on our peppers. All right, so we're going to do some canola oil. a little bit. So we got to fry, right? So we need to drop down. And we got low flame, kind of heating up our oil. Um, all right, we'll get our batter after we get everything for our sauce put together. Um, all right, cornstarch. I got to get some water. Apple, uh, some vinegar, what do I want to use? Let's do, uh, do I have any? I don't know how I 
feel about that. We'll use white wine and we'll do um, some of our mirin again. Oh, I need my soy sauce. Water, let's get a measuring cup out. All right, measuring cup, brown sugar, and ketchup. Then we got our pineapple and our habanero. Hot, hot, hot. Shallot. Need a little garlic. measuring utensils out. I don't know what my cup, cup, half cup, tablespoon, cup, half a cup, tablespoon. We're going to need these for our other uh, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Okay. Let's get a pot ready for that. I think it over here for our sauce. Let me rinse it real quick. So I think Twitch is, I don't know, I feel like Twitch is bugging out because it's not giving me giving me some weird numbers on my thing, so I'm not sure what the hell's going on. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of our ingredients, we're gonna get it mixed in, and then we're gonna add our slurry to it after and kind of thicken it up. But we have a fresh habanero that we're gonna add in there that we're gonna cook down with some shallot and garlic. Um, and then we're gonna add, those or add everything else to those ingredients. We're gonna cook it down and then we're going to thicken it up. So we're going to have a lot of flavor going into this. Um, so let's go ahead and get our shallot and garlic minced. Uh, we are going to be straining. Uh, so they don't need to be finely chopped. We just need to get them kind of you know opened up and released so we can start cooking them down. But yeah, like I said, we are not going to, or we are going to be straining our sauce tonight because I don't want anything in it. I want a nice velvety smooth sauce. So, um, yeah, we don't, have to, we don't got to go too crazy with the mince. We just need to kind of get it chopped. Nice rough chop. Yeah, I mean, this thing is like bugging out. Bugging out big time. All right. So, make a couple incisions. Do a nice rough chop on our shallot. Digging the red coat. Thanks, Bill. Figured I'd change it up. I forgot that I had all my uh, other chef coats stashed away. All right, some garlic. All right, just a rough chop, guys. We're just going to go Where's Pops at, Liz? I thought he said he was going to be here tonight That's what he told me Alright, so we're just going to give that a nice little rough chop Perfect Alright We're going to get our pot started Let's go ahead and uh, we'll We'll move this back for now until we need it. 
We'll get this one going so we can start our our cook down. He was here. I didn't see him pop up. My like I said, my Twitch my Twitch dashboard is like bugging out right now. Um, we do gotta cut up a little bit of our uh, habanero, spicy as hell. So I'm gonna use when I cut it. I'm gonna try to not to touch it. I'm gonna use my bench scraper and my knife, kind of get that in the pan and get it going. I'm gonna peek on everything. Everything's looking good. Pan's heating up. Drop a little oil. Not using olive oil because I don't want that strong olive oil taste in this. This isn't a this isn't like an Italian sauce, so I don't need that type of flavor. Huh, weird. Alright. I'm gonna throw the shallot in first. So we got our shallot in, we're gonna hit it with some salt. We're gonna mess with our, um, our habanero real quick. We're gonna add the taste. touched it so I'm just gonna wash the hell out of my hands. We're gonna start with about that much habanero. We're gonna cook that up. So we got our habanero. Oh I got you pop. Okay. I'm gonna wash the hands real real good. After touching that hot ass habanero. Tanginess from the habanero. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, they are. Alright, we're gonna get some pineapple thrown in there. Wash this off. Cutting board. Right. I'm gonna flip that over so nothing else gets that habanero on there. All right, shallots browning up nicely. Throw a little pineapple in there. Gonna dice it. All right. 
fiery poop. You know it. Alright, so we have all our ingredients cooking up. Sweet, spicy, garlicky. Nice little sharpness from our shallot. Now we're going to start measuring um, our other ingredients out and we're going to add them in. Then we'll get, get going in our shishitos. And then later when we start cooking, we start tasting, we'll, we'll adjust our habanero and sweetness with our pineapple by adding that in. Uh, we can always add more if we need. I just did want to cook some down real quick to kind of get everything cracking. So I'm gonna let that go just another sec. Uh, K Dog. What are you saying, K Dog? Alright, so we're gonna do a half a cup of water. Sure, it's hot. Full cup of brown sugar. Sugar. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to add our water. Okay. We're going to add our one cup of vinegar. Yeah, pop this off with a one sec. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Pour some back because I forgot I'm doing half mirror and half uh, half white wine. All right, we'll use the rest of the mirror. In. All right, so we got a cup of our sweet rice wine and our white vinegar blend right there together, and then we got some soy sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce. little saltiness right there. Also going to make great color. Alright. Soy sauce. Got a nice dark red tint. Then we're going to add half a cup of ketchup. One sec. Let me fill this baby up. It's not me, it's the ketchup. Wow. <laughs> All right, half a cup of ketchup. Let me just rinse that. I got a surprise for you guys. In just one sec, got a nice little surprise. If someone wants to say hi. We got that. We're gonna whisk that in just a second. Come here, buddy. Hi. Come here, Munchkin. Oh, look who it is. Say hello. See the whisk? We go whisk with daddy. Wanna whisk with daddy? Look. Coolest thing ever. Oh my goodness. You love it? Oh yeah, look at that color, son. That's what daddy's talking about right there. That's that shit I do like. Oh, you say hi to Papa and Nanu and Nani and Auntie and Uncle. Say hello to everybody. You tell them you got six teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Big boy. 
here. Oh, baby, I gotta check the oven. Grab him. Alright, bye bye. Uncle Al! Bye bye, Grandpa. Alright, so let's check our oven real quick. We only want to par cook our side items, so we need to get an idea of where they're at. Ugh, okay. Carrots are about half. Potatoes need some more loving. idea of where our pork one's at. We gotta check it a nice little temp reading on that. What's going on Al? I think it's time for a shot I do too. Just give me one set. So our sauce guys building some real nice color. We gotta throw some herb in there. But first, let's check the temp on our pork loin. I'll bring it over to the camera momentarily. I don't know what that is. Oh. <laughs> uh, where? There it is. Okay. Sticky the end, the side. Yeah, a beautiful crust on the side that was down. Pork loin is going quick, guys. It's looking good. Let's see. Oh yeah, baby. All right, so our pork loin is about ten degrees away from where we want it. So we're gonna take it out for now. We're gonna let our potatoes finish. We're gonna let our carrots get close. We're gonna start frying momentarily. Our sauce is coming together nicely. We're right on schedule, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I told you I'd let you guys see the, uh, the loin. Look at that. Beautiful crust all the way around. All right. pop our carrots in in a couple minutes. We're gonna, we're gonna make our batter momentarily. Let's grab our herbs and throw it in where it goes. We're gonna be using some fresh herbs on the plate tonight as well to pretty it up quite a bit. But we do need some herbs for the actual uh, sauce itself. Where? There we go. So we're going to add a little fresh thyme. Sprigs of fresh thyme in there. Make it a little bit more earthy. Okay. just a, cut, like a very small amount of rosemary. I want too much rosemary, just a little bit. Alright. So we're going to let those herbs kind of cook in to our sauce. Add a, just another element of flavor there, right? Alright. Let me get my herbs out the way. we got to get this batter going. Um... I need to, uh, so everything's cooking together nicely, we're going to cook it down a little bit, nice little simmer, this looks, smells delicious, oh lucky, <laughs> alright so, let's get our tempura batter crack a lacking ladies and gentlemen, 
gonna get the stuff I don't need out of my way anymore. So this is gonna be like your lighter tempura batter. We're gonna get a nice little coat on our Cheetos. We need to check that temp of that oil on a set. Let's grab our annoying oil thermometer that you see me use that just falls a thousand times per stream. So you get an idea of where we at heat wise. All right, guys, let's get this crack in. Uh, Al, did you work today, baby? What's going on? All right, so we are going to get a bowl. So I got some really cold water going because I don't have ice, so I just did some extremely cold water. We're going to do three-fourths a cup. Mmm. That's refreshing. All right. All right, we're going to pour our ice water in. We're going to grab our egg. We need just the yolk to the egg, so we're going to separate our egg out. Oh, I'll do it over the cup here. We're going to get all that white out. Okay, I'm just going to bounce it back and forth. Just trying to get all that egg white away from my yolk. Big chunks of egg white I want gone. All right, we're gonna drop that in our water. Wash my hand. Six three. Uh oh, couple runs though. Oh, we need. We'll get a Caden command up, baby. We'll get a Caden command up. I was rushing too much today. Don't what the? <laughs> what the f? All right, our oil's at 320. I'm going to turn it up just a tad bit more. Our sauce came to a pretty hard boil there, so I'm going to lower my heat on that. Check my potatoes real quick. I want them to overcook. They're getting close. Uh, I need another whisk. Where is my whisks? Oh, it's hanging up. Yeah, I knew I had it somewhere. All right, so we got one egg yolk to three fourths of cold water. So you see it already kind of frothing. We want to froth that up. The cold water is activating that in the yolk. That's how you're going to get that, uh, that fluffy batter. Nice and frothy. Okay. Then our next Addition is going to be three fourths a cup of flour and two tablespoons of uh, cornstarch. I'm going to get the three fourths cup. I'm going to rinse out my tablespoon. It's going to be delicious, guys. All right. So we're going to get our flour. Three fourths a cup. Uh, 
I got one fourth cup, so did I already bring it out? Huh, I don't know. We'll do three of these. Three of these fourths. That makes three fourths. One. Two. Three. A little love, so I was a little short on that one. Okay. Now we need two tablespoons of uh, cornstarch. All right, the oil's heating up perfectly. We're getting right to that temp. One. Two. On the cornstarch. All right, we're gonna whisk this for our batter. We just don't want any big chunks, but we don't want to over whisk it. Just get everything kind of combined. All right, that's good. Just a very minor, minor whisk job there. Kind of a quiet night. Looks like everyone's busy, it's all good. A little smaller of a group tonight. Everyone missing out though. All right, I'm gonna check those potatoes again one more time. Our oil's at perfect temp. Our sauce is cooking down nicely. Flavors are coming together. Pull these taters out. Perfect. Carrots, we're gonna carry over. Loin will pop in once we get these babies fried off. Let's grab our shishits. We're gonna switch positions so you guys can watch the frying process. Um, let's do rear, lower. All right. The old switcheroo. Now we'll go to the back. We'll thicken that once we get the pork in. Fryer oil is ready to rock. Let's get uh, set up for you guys. All right. Let's drop some shishits. See what happens. So I'm just kind of drenching them in the batter. I don't know, it seems like they're going to fall off. My batter doesn't seem very stable. Eh, it's kind of sticking. A little bit. Yeah, they're, they're working, it's working. Grab some tongs. Yeah, it worked, it worked, I'm tripping. Oh yeah, baby, we're looking good, that's tight. Never done the shishitos like this. Get some paper towels ready. This is dope. Shishito gang. get a little bit brown. Grandmore police, eh? Alright, I'm kind of getting my station set up over here so I can start dropping them after I dip. This one looks just about done. Look at that. 
beautiful crust. Go a little longer. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. We're going to drop a bunch and that temperature is going to drop. Sauce is looking incredible, guys. I'm down to run it. I already know the first law I'll pass. <laughs> little test fry right there came out great hit it with a little salt so here's our shishito pepper fried tempura fried battered oh it smells so good guys holy cow all right let's get let's get some cracking for our dish and then uh and then once those are cooking, we're gonna throw our pork back in, finish that. We're gonna finish our sauce, thicken it, strain it. Or you know, we'll strain it, then we'll thicken it. We gotta taste it too. are awesome. Can never go wrong with the tempura batter on anything, really. Our temperature's staying perfect. I'm going to peek in at our uh, karat. Alright, I'm going to take out the smaller carrots. The bigger ones need a little bit of time. So we got these three monsters, the rest are cooked perfectly, so they're coming off. And we're gonna throw those babies back in. I'm just gonna put these with the potatoes that are finished up. Any more cooked, those, those go another five minutes and they're gonna be almost mush. These are like perfectly tender. Um, they're gonna carry over to a nice, they still got a nice bite on them. These, these are gonna, still got a crunch, so we're gonna let these finish off. I'm gonna throw my pork back in, let that, let that go. Let's rotate over. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So sheets are coming out nice. And later you'll be dropping some more shishito peppers. And what reference do you mean, my friend? All right, we gotta get our slurry made for our sauce. We are doing two tablespoons of cornstarch to thicken this slim thick bit out. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell these shishitos. Okay, they're coming out. Looking good. Beautiful tempura crust on them. Awesome, awesome. Hit them with a little salt right when they come out. Little seasoning on them. Okay. Need a couple tablespoons of this. One, two. I'm gonna do a couple tablespoons of water. 
We're gonna blend that with about probably double, so about four. Yeah, we'll do about four. All right. We're gonna grab a fork and we're gonna kinda mix that up before we whisk it into our sauce. So this is called making a slurry. You're basically just getting that cornstarch corn starch dissolved into your water so it's nice and smooth. If you were to put a bunch of powder straight in there, you would get a bunch of clumps, so you want to avoid that at all costs. All right, so I'm going to throw this in and we're going to whisk. I'll move it over in a sec. Let me just get my slurry going. Okay. I'm gonna move my hot oil. I don't need my thermo anymore. That goes away. We're gonna be transferring over for you guys to see our sauce that we're thickening. It's already starting to slim thicken. Yas, daddy. Oh, say it ain't so. I mean, come on. That's velvety smooth, baby. It's got a little taster. Look at that. Beautiful body to it. Very, very delicious. We're gonna go ahead and add some things. Salt. Pineapple's got it nice and sweet. I do think it needs a little bit more habanero. I'm gonna grab my small cutting board so we don't dirty this bitch up. I'm gonna grab another knife so I don't have to keep moving shit. We're gonna dice up a tad bit more. And now that it's raw, it's gonna give it the spice that I think it needs. So I want a little bit more of that habanero flavor in there. I don't think it has as much as I want. So I think the raw is gonna be that touch that we need. Washing the hands. Y'all finished up working, Pops? Stirring in our salt and our habanero raw. Remember, we are going to strain this. Let's get another taster. See how much of a difference the raw habanero made. Might need more. I think a tad bit more. that cook down another set. Pops coming through with the 500 bitties. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate them bits, Pops. Thank you, thank you. Alright, guys, let's check on those carrots. Let's check on our pork. We're about ready to pull everything together very shortly. We're going to strain our sauce. Let's oil out. Check on those big fuckers. They're perfect. 
Got some beautiful roasting char on those. Looking great. Okay. Let's check on our portico. That hot loin. my final temp reading. Mm. Stir up that sauce a little bit more. Okay. All right, we got our perfect 155 on our pork loin. You don't want to go too much lower, but you can have a nice mid rare pork loin. We're going to let that sit. Looks like we're just going to strain our sauce, guys, and we're going to get to plating. Everything's looking great. I'm going to turn the oven off. All right, we're looking good, guys. We're looking good. So let's strain the sauce and. Uh, Let's do this. All right, we'll do it up here for you guys. I can hear you, but he is already asleep. Nice, that means we get to eat together right away. Good stuff, baby. It's gonna make our sauce super velvety, clean, get all the big chunks of all our ingredients out. Any breaking bads in the chat, fans in the chat, watch El Camino by any chance? Never seen Breaking Bad. It's one of the best shows on television. Pops have been telling you to watch it forever. They just released a movie on Netflix, picking up where it left off like 10 years later. Kind of like what Prison Break did with the new season. All right, look at that sauce, guys. Saucy. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna rinse these so they don't get caked up, maked up. We're, plate, we're ready to plate up, guys. We gotta chop our loin up in a second. We getting down. Okay. These sauces that come out thick like that, like almost like <laughs> sweet and sour like, you gotta make sure you at least pre-rinse your pan if you're not gonna wash it right away and get all that stuff that's stuck to the edges off because if you don't, this shit dries up like freaking Gorilla Glue on you real quick. So just a, war a warning. All right guys, let's cut our pork. We got our tempura shishitos here. We're gonna stick those over here. Got our herbs for plating. This sauce though. Look at this. Look at this sauce. Where's a spoon? Look at that. Delicious, baby. Ow, oh, you gotta peep it. Oh yeah, that's money right there. That sauce is money. All right, let's chop our pork. Oven's off. 
We got some residual heat in there. I'm going to pop my carrots and uh, potatoes in there to keep them warm. I might actually put my shishitos on there too. On top of the potatoes. Keep those warm. Came out so good. Ugh, I'm stoked. Alright, my pinchy puerco. That's what I get called at work all day. My, 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 my dudes. Oh, I spilled a bunch of crumbs. Alright, so we got our perfectly crusted pork loin. We need to get that uh, twine cut off. So guys, by next episode, we will have our new HD cutting board cam, plate ups, everything that happens on the board is going to just be so much better. I'm so excited. Um, you guys can't really tell right now. Maybe when we have the new camera up and stuff, it'll affect it more because of where the camera is right now. But I did get these under lights right here set up underneath my cabinets. Looks amazing when you're in the actual kitchen. For me, I got to say, a lot better for a work. Uh, my workplace is a lot better over here, a lot more bright, a lot better. I'm loving it. But with this camera, the angle and everything about it, you can't really, can't really get too good in, uh, of an idea of how much it's actually affecting this area. But it's it's nice. I'm loving this. They literally just you stick them to the top of the cabinet and. Uh, and connect them by you know one wire and it's done all right guys let's slice the pork let's do the first one. Oh yeah i mean that's just that's just flawless that's a pork loin cooked to perfection if it was my pops, he would have done the uh, the rotisserie like Nate was saying earlier. Pops all about the rotisserie. Gets down. Daisy smells it. She's like, I hope I'm getting a bite. You know it, girl. Guys, this this pork smells so unreal. You know how good of a sandy this is gonna make. Maybe I'll actually have food to bring the bus boys tomorrow. They, they always bitch at me. Why you never make enough? I'm like, sorry. We eaten. Oh. Ooh. That flavor. Killer. Mmm. This is so good. All right. All right, guys. Let's get to plating. Utensils are getting taken away. Cutting board's about to go. I do want to snap a quick pic of my pork loin for the IG. Okay. Go ahead, Daisy. <laughs> a bunch of that pork juice just came flying off the cutting board. Ugh, go ahead, Daisy. You can get the rest, baby. Daisy's having a field day with it. All right, so I'm thinking, guys, I want to do it in these plates. I mean, these bowls. But they might be too small. You know what? They're going to be too small, guys. Huh. Gray or white, guys? Silver or white? What do you got? You guys get the call here. I was going to do a white bowl, so now you get the choice. What are you guys thinking? Gray. Pop says gray. Gray, gray, gray. All right. People have spoken. Oh. 
I just don't know if the sauce is gonna pop too much on the gray. That's my only uh, my only issue here. It should. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. So I'm just gonna let it make its own circle straight from the middle. It's gonna do it itself. I'm just gonna add it on. And there's the drip. Always gotta have one of those damn drips. whole most of the surface area of the plate covered up by our sauce cool. I'm gonna do this one a little more this one will have a tiny bit less we'll get an idea of which one I like more okay I gotta get the um, mild cutting board out. That's mild size one. So I can shape my carrots and everything. Grab those out the oven. They're just keeping some of that heat. Perfect. All right. So what I'm thinking is I want to do Work. Okay. Potatoes. that I wanted it actually to be the other way but that. okay now for my carrots where's my knife Thanks, Ma. Like I said, we're going fancy tonight, yo. Take one of these small purple potatoes. Cut that in half. Add a couple of those. And... There we go. 
beautiful shishito, papacito. Okay. Fresh, fresh oregano. Those leaves are gonna really make this dish look um, great with the sauce. I'll flare those out and over. That's good on that one. That dry, dry rub off my pork. Thanks, Dre Dre. And then I just want a little bit of, um, a little bit of fresh thyme. Creeping out the uh, out the shishito. Perfect. All right. There's one golf Saturday, Dre. Damn, lucky, lucky. I wish I was there. All right, let's get the second one plated up, guys. Little fact: uh, When you're plating up fancy like this, you want to go in odd numbers with your with things that are going to stick out. In the sense, the meat, you want to plate it up in an odd number. It's, tends to stand out more, is what they told me in school. <laughs> How about those Yankees? They suck. Fuck the Yankees. All right, let's get this one all plated up. Gold potatoes at. There we go. We'll use that as our bound for our carrot. Carrots. That big sucker. All right, we got our carrots down, get our shishitos on there. Alright, let's 
Let's get some. We wash the hands off. Sorry. Where's my rag? All right. Now we gotta get some fresh oregano on this plate. Make it pop with that nice subtle green from the leaves. Really makes a huge difference when you have some fresh green to throw on the plate. I swear, looks amazing. Looks awesome, awesome, awesome. This is very similar to how I had it completely pictured out in my head, so I'm extremely happy. All right, a little fresh thyme thrown on there like the other one, and we're ready to rock, guys. We'll put it in the, have it all um, on our other camera in just a moment for you guys. Perfect. All right, guys, let's switch on cameras over. I'm gonna get a picture real quick right here with this lighting. And then we'll head on over. All right, guys, let's move on over for you. <sighs> Told you we were getting our team tonight. Wasn't lying. Dilly D coming in with the sub. Thank you so much, Dill. Nine month sub. I appreciate it, baby. Welcome back. Let's go. All right, guys. Here's our beautiful dish. We got our roasted pork loin with our sauce, our shishito fried with our roasted carrots, our fingerlings. Habanero pineapple infused sauce. Taking pictures. Alright. Gotta snap them for the gram. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go ahead and get a little video for the the ins for the social media. All right, all right, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, get you on out of here. Appreciate y'all being here tonight. Thank you so much for being here tonight. A little bit of a slower night, you know what I mean? People are busy, people got things going on, so they're not gonna be here every week, but I appreciate you guys who were here tonight for being here. Thank you so much, guys. Um, happy Thursday. Hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. Let's get that out of there. Um, I had a blast. Plate turned out exactly as I imagined it turning out to look, so I'm super excited. Can't wait to get down, let you guys know how it tastes. Check the social medias for, um, you know, the HD pictures that will be uploaded very shortly. Hope everyone has a great rest of your night. No more Cousin Drew and emojis for me. Oh, you know what? A lot of the subs fell off from last month, so um, there's going to have to be some resubs taking place. So, yeah, a lot of you guys might, might have, whoever got gifted, it looks like your guys' subs fell off. So, you know, you can get it when you can. But everyone have a great night. Pops, thank you for the bits. Um... F her in the pasta. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Dilly, thank you for the nine month sub. Nate, thanks for the resub. I appreciate having everyone here tonight. Thank you guys. Um, like I said, hit all the social medias. Check for those pictures. I'll be posting them shortly. Um, we'll be back here on Monday night with you guys. Can't wait. It's going to be a good night like every night. 
Thanks again for being here, guys. I'm going to do my intro, outro video. I'm getting out of here. Everyone have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Take it easy, guys. And uh, don't drink too much tonight. Let's get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat right now, ladies and gentlemen. Jason coming in with the four month resub. Thank you so much, Jason. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the family tree, brother. Thank you, thank you. I'll catch you in a bit, Jason. <laughs>